Did you ever have people steal from you? We hired a accounts payable manager, CFO, a lady by the name of Becky in 2010, 2011. And she ran some of our accounting on, on Brian's offices. She's now in prison. Her name is Becky. She came from Tecta, one of those big roofing companies. Yeah, yeah. So she seemed like a very trustworthy accounting type person. Accountants are the worst. And oh. family accountants, even oh. the worst. <laughs> I was going to say, if any roofing contractors are watching us right now, always, I'll just tell you one little thing I hint. Always have a third party or someone other than who's writing your checks and running your QuickBooks. Do month, it's called month end rec reconciliation. It's so easy to steal too. And there's people that'll do that. It, it, a separate person should be month end because it, whether it's your girlfriend, your, your, your wife, your best friend, your auntie, the, the, the innocent lady. The, they'll pay their credit cards. They'll get so creative. I mean, you, you always got to do, <laughs> do month end reconciliations because sometimes you know, there's a lot of theft. And, there's, and a lot of, and especially in the contracting industry, and there's a lot of theft on the salesperson side, but the bigger problem is actually the uh, one you don't know about. It's the accounting ones. And it could be a third party accounting company, which is why you always have a third, another third party do month end reconciliations because they catch everything. And it only costs for a couple hundred bucks a month to have another company do this. They just do a month end, maybe, you know, maybe it's 500 bucks a month. But very important. Now, this gal, uh, Becky, she's now in prison, by the way, she had set up fake subcontractors that look like, you know, when you see checks going through for like Julio Chavez or whatever, yeah, yeah. or Juan Lopez, and you're used to seeing that name. So you see 10, 15, 20, 30 grand going to Juan Lopez, you're used to, you know, he's your subcontractor. You're just used to it. So she set up something like Juan Lopez one or Juan Lopez dash two or something, yeah. LLC, some bank account. And she was literally writing, you know, bilking a company tens of thousands, maybe a couple hundred thousand, maybe, maybe it was into the hundreds of thousands. And um, eventually, Brian caught it on his office. But these are one, again, we, I knew there was something going on like that at the time. This is one of the reasons him and I actually broke up was because of that issue. She's now in prison. Uh, but at the time, when you're going through financial pain like that, you start thinking a lot of thoughts like, well, maybe my partner's in on her, maybe this or maybe that. It caused a lot of angst. And now she finally got in trouble for that. But all I can tell you guys is, you know, she got caught. What if she wouldn't have got caught? Yeah, I just interviewed um, Indie Roofing Company and uh, same thing, fifty, seventy thousand dollars Those are very common. Yeah. If you watch American Greed, they have a lot of similar stories. Now, this on the sales side, I've experienced all of the stuff, like where the guy <laughs> writes, has a homeowner write a check in his name for overhead and profit, or um, somebody uh, that's handling a credit card for VIP tickets a couple years ago for Wind of Storm. Well, they, they, my people back in the day handled a lot of credit card transactions. Well, they, they zipped the card through their own personal thing. Uh, we just found out about it later for a couple of you. That's well, $3,000. But those are small in comparison to the accounting side stuff that happened, you know, in 2012. How many times have you been sued versus you sued someone? What's the balance of losses? Because I know the roofing con uh, contractor business is crazy. You have disputes with the vendors, homeowners, salespeople. What kind of losses uh... you had? I would say over 10, well, as a contractor, 10 years as a, you know, well, 12 yeah. years as a contractor, after five to seven million in revenue, so by year two, well, year two, we hit 25 million. Year two to, to the la very last year, eight, eight, eight out of 10 of those years got a lawsuit every year. Every year. Oh, yeah. What kind of lawsuits? If, you, if you're doing 10 million plus in contracting, you better, you gotta just Sale expect a lawsuit every Sa year. Salespeople or homeowners? Or um, Friv yeah, sometimes a frivolous lawsuit from a homeowner that's maybe they, I remember we did a uh, Columbus, Ohio, actually, w which was a good storm. We did a Lutowishi tile roof in Columbus, Ohio, and they didn't like the way the roof looked. <laughs> it was done past code. You know, you've, you've seen this. Guy's wife or somebody was an attorney and then sued and da -da -da. You, up, you end up settling. Sometimes these are frivolous things. Um, we've had... Uh, I think we had a slip and fall issue once where somebody fell. What's it the worst lawsuit they ever have that drained you emotionally, put stress on you? We've never had a lawsuit where we had to go to a, I've never gone to a jury trial lawsuit, like lost a lawsuit in a jury trial, if that you mean. Meaning mo most lawsuits, 90% of them are settled before they go to court. Well, in general, one of the most emotionally draining legal matters was the split up and, and of my partner of, of Abelard Construction. That was a very, that took a year. It's like a To divorce. build all those jobs and then, 
part ways without it again it's like going it's it's like having a, uh, being married with a prenuptial agreement or, or being an LL. Anybody's got a 50-50 LLC, a partner, and it's your buddy right now, and you don't have an op agreement with a buy-sell, go get one tomorrow. Because someday you're going to wake up and not like each other. And if you don't have that piece of paper, you, have to have exit strategy. You, don't, you don't have a way to part. And if you don't get along, you don't have a way to part. It's messy. So it took a year to do that, and that was, that was stressful. That, but it didn't, it didn't go to a, there were some threats going back and forth between him and I. But we never we never went to a lawsuit, but it was still very emotionally draining. Um, I didn't I don't you know the Minnesota deal. Okay, I'll tell you one is Minnesota Department of Labor. There's a lady up there. She's probably still there. She likes she likes to do uh, take the contractors down with the fines. We moved a shipment of yard signs from St. Louis to Minnesota. You know I was a licensed Minnesota contractor. I had a license. But some sales guys from St. Louis had come up and they had some yard signs in their car from St. Louis. St. Louis is not a licensed state. And he stabbed one of the signs out in St. Croix River Valley somewhere. And somebody came by and took a picture of a yard sign with no license. And that lady at the DOLI, uh, God, I, can't, I should remember her name because we went to court with her. She gave me a $10,000 fine for a yard sign with no license on it. Although you could look up and see that I had a license. Wow. And I told her, I said, we have a license. It's on file at the Minnesota State. She goes, you have to show well, it. you have a yard sign without a license. That's a $10,000 fine. So we fought it, and that cost twenty five grand to fight it, to find out we got the fine way, but it ended up going to court. And, you know, once you fight it, this particular woman, I, I wish I remember her name, because anybody from Minnesota watching this right now probably knows what I'm talking about, because she goes after contractors. Um, she starts digging in and trying to find other stuff, to, you know, because she, she knew she was going to lose that fine. You'll and find if you dig in. Once she's on you, you know, she dig in, find something that happened in Florida three years ago. It had nothing to do with Minnesota. I mean, she, she was so, that was stressful, but we beat it. I mean, that was the only time we, you know, we went to court and won that deal, but it cost 25 grand. So it's not fun to actually go, you know, it's not fun to go to court. 